In this video, I'll be showing you how to sew this lovely dress I made with a silk fabric. It has drapes on the skirt. You can also make it a rouge skirt and it has this unique sleeve that we modified. I put up a tutorial for the pattern drafting part of this. I'll put the link in the description box and up above. My name is Kemi Omorube. You're welcome to Kema Freak. Here are the pieces of fabric we cut out from the previous video. These were transferred from paper and we added the same allowances. I'll be starting up by sewing the dart. Remember we cut open our front dart. I'll be sewing the two dart legs together by half an inch. We added the half an inch allowance already. And I'll do the same thing for the back as well. Now here it is. I've sewn in the front dart and the back dart. And we have our piece looking like this. The next step I'll be taking is to close up that detail, the keyhole detail at the center front. And I'll be using a method called piping to create uh, a finishing for that part. So I've cut out this strip of fabric on bias and it is just about 1.5 inches wide. I'll start by sewing by about a quarter of an inch round the keyhole details there. And I'm doing this the right side of the strip facing the right side of the fabric. Once I have done that, I'll go ahead to notch to help the seam relax properly. Then I'll fold twice, okay? fold in then fold in again at this point i decided to trim a part of the strip because i felt it was wide that wasn't quite the case anyway this fabric is slippery so working with a tiny fabric made it a little bit more challenging but i wanted the finishing to look tiny i didn't want anything wide and bulky in that front so i went ahead to fold twice and to stitch on the seam line so that our seam remains invisible from the outside this particular seam will be invisible but when you look inside it will be visible okay so this is what i mean from the inside you can see the same line while from the outside you can see the same line like i mentioned this is just piping in case you are used to piping already my whole explanation may not make sense to you but just follow the steps or follow what you know already now i will be sewing the front and back piece together along the shoulder line i'm stitching by half an inch which is the same allowance we have on that side here we have it sewn already and i'll be turning that shoulder seam using my back facing i cut out a facing for the back i didn't do the same thing for the front piece but this back has a facing so this is how we want our facing to look at the end of the day but i'm going to flip it on the front so that i can use it to close up the shoulder seam and before sewing anyway i went ahead to overlock the base of that facing just so it looks neat guys there's no lining for this outfit so you have to be overlocking as you're sewing if you don't want your clothes to look um, cheap now i have done that here and it's time to fix my sleeve i i had a plan or oh, at this point let's just say i have a plan to make like a draped sleeve i didn't want it long so i cut out a fabric i think i explained this already in the pattern drafting video and what i'm doing right now is just pleating along the armhole okay i'm pleating another option is to do this on a dress form which i will demonstrate just just give me some time <laughs> so uh, right now i'm pleating upward you can pleat in any direction but i made sure that my pleat didn't get to the same allowance i left about two inches from the side to where the plate stopped okay so that's for the front and on the other side of the fabric i'll be pleating creating plates for the back okay so i'm pleating the other side of the fabric on the back i just hope this <laughs> this is explanatory enough Mm, 
Now, I think it's easier doing this on the table, but if you like, you may want to drape it on a dress form. So just place your um, bodies on a dress form and sew the top and the bottom of your fabric and then just pleat. Pleat one side for the back and the other side of the fabric on the front. So I didn't do this. I used the table method, but I just wanted to show you what you would do if you were working with a dress form. Now here is our outfit so far. I've sewn the sleeve in and we have this. Okay, so there are a couple of ways you can choose to modify this sleeve. You may want to add a band around the whole, I don't know, just be creative guys. Now let's work on the skirt. When we drafted the pattern for this, we went ahead to create the pleats at the front. And I mentioned that there are two ways you can sew this. Either you pleat first, secure the pleats, then join the two sides of the skirt together. Which I did. It looked okay, but I kind of preferred the drip method. Okay, the one you sew straight, then drip. So that was what I did eventually. But at this point, I first went ahead to secure the pleats and then I sealed these two pieces together by half an inch before I changed, sorry, by one inch, before I changed my mind to follow the other method. I'm just not happy that I didn't remember to film what this looked like. It looked okay, actually, I really can't complain, but for some reasons, I just felt I would prefer it draped. Okay, back to our bodies, guys. I need to sew the side seam. Remember, we have a one inch wide side seam allowance so i went ahead to sew my side seam the back and the front piece right side facing each other and also i finished up the armhole using the same piping method i did for the keyhole front now here is the skirt and this is what i mean or this is what i meant i removed all the pleats and i sewed the two sides together straight stitch by one inch and we have this funny looking piece here so i just left that now you can choose to drape on the table once again or you go do this on the dress form and if you're draping on the table you just keep creating pleats and you keep holding it together with pins and later you go and go ahead to tack here is the bodies once again the side seam is sewn i went ahead to overlock that seam and now i will be sewing the skirt part and the bodies together by the half inch seam allowance we added when we were transferring the pattern to fabric so i'll do this and make sure that the seam i have at the front aligns with one of the darts okay that was the plan when i was drafting i made use of the same measurement from the center front the next step now will be to fix the sleeve come on guys you all know how to fix zip i meant zip <laughs> we all know how to do that at this stage right so i'm fixing the sleeve along the center back without doing using the facing okay i'm not using the facing i'm leaving the facing out and this is what i have now i'll turn this piece inside out then use the facing to close up the zip at the top right there so i'll just zip this down and turn the facing right side of the facing facing the right side of the main piece then i'll sew as close to the teeth of the zip as possible to give it that seamless look at the center back so the last no sorry not the last step the next step is to finish up the neckline okay we still have a part of the neckline bear so remember the piping once again that we did for the keyhole there i went ahead to do it for the entire neckline once i was done with this i placed my piece on a dress form and i'll be dripping as i like the beauty here is that you can manipulate it as you like because you're seeing the finished product and it's just easier to do all the twists and turns that you wish without feeling guilty <laughs> or being scared that it will be challenging okay so at this point that's exactly what i'm doing and you also have the opportunity to change the length i mean the length of the draped part just manipulate things as much as you're comfortable with. It. 
once you are done creating the pleats i'll go ahead to tack along the center front using uh, a hand needle and thread and the last part will be to finish up the hem and remember we added a one inch seam allowance so i'll just be sewing the hem and folding in the seam allowance Here is our dress so far and I'll go ahead now to tack each of these pleats. Another way you can achieve something similar is to make it a ruched skirt so you attach a drawstring so that you can drag and adjust the length of the pleat. Once this step is over, I'll go ahead to sew the hem of the skirt and if you're not satisfied with the width of the slit at that front you can still trim it at this stage to make it wider and more obvious now another adjustment i think will make this look even much better is to also also spread along the back of the pattern so that you can create tiny pleats along the center back as well so that we somehow hold the pleat in the front so that it extends from the front till it gets to the center back so you have pleats all around the skirt part of the dress though that would be like a different style but i think that will look much better than having a plain back this is what the original sleeve looks like and i didn't quite like it i was not satisfied with it we decided to do an adjustment here uh, by just holding the center and crossing it here and then we'll tuck it. So that way, that was how I, how I got this other sleeve here. So I think this looks better than the regular. This one just looks like a regular puffy sleeve. Sorry, I'm looking at the camera. This way. Let me show you guys from afar. Hmm. So this kind of, uh, we keep people wondering what it is or how did we get here? Unlike this. So I'm going to go with this. This is the original one. Which one do you prefer? A or B? This is the first one. And this is the second one. So I personally prefer this and I'll be going with this. Let me know the one you prefer in the comment section.